Hello everybody, Jake your resident content cowboy here. It's Monday. On Mondays we do tier lists and on Wednesdays we wear pink. It's Tuesday, sorry. Well then why don't we just get some liquor and those mini cupcakes? Mini cupcakes? As in the mini version of regular cupcakes, which is already a mini version of cake? Honestly, where does it end with you people? Here we are with the tier list because we have a patch coming out very, very soon. So I think it's a good time to talk about what Pokemon we could see getting buffed, nerfed, and everything in between. I think we're going to see some uh, pretty big changes. Our last patch was kind of small, getting us ready for the Greninja Battle Pass. And this next one I think would be a bit bigger here. There are a few things I wanted to show you uh, on this tier list that we're going to do. So first off, we've got our tiers. Big buff. It's kind of self-explanatory. These Pokemon could probably use a big buff. Small buff. If you, if you didn't get big buff, you're not going to get small buff. The B tier. Still got the B tier. Man. Uh, uh, the small nerf tier. These are Pokemon that I think could use a little change. And then the delete this from the game tier. You get it. These Pokemon are crazy overpowered. A few interesting things I think are going to happen in the next patch. So, uh, we have the possibility of EX being removed. They said it was going to be removed in September, if I remember right. And it's September. So, I think it's about time for them to remove the EX classification on some of these Pokemon. What does that mean for their balance? That's a great question, right? Because I do think that a lot of them are fairly balanced with the roster. So uh, I'm interested to see kind of what they decide to do. I honestly wouldn't be shocked if they didn't do much to them because a lot of them are pretty in line with the rest of the game. So we will see. Uh, and what we're going to do at the end of this tier list, I think is going to be fun. A lot of Pokemon that are balanced are going to be in our B tier. These are Pokemon I don't think need a buff or a nerf or I don't expect one, right? But at the end of our tier list, I'm getting rid of the B tier. Shocking, I know. Uh, and we're, I'm going to decide if you had to change every single Pokemon in the game, where would they go? Let's start off here. We got Cinderace. I think Cinderace is a reasonable one for a small buff. Thank you so much for the Super Chat, JC Vibes. This Super Chat is so you delete the B tier for this tier list and put my Squirrel in S tier. Not going to happen, but I appreciate the Super Chat nonetheless. So uh, Cinderace is... Here's the thing. I think Cinderace, Decidueye, maybe even Greninja still. Even I do think it's doing pretty good. Duraludon, and who else am I thinking of? Dragapult. All of these Pokemon are not awful, but all of them could get a small buff. I think the buff that's that's really needed for our auto attackers is the auto attack version of Slick Spoon, whatever exactly that becomes, right? Uh, if we get an auto attack version of Slick Spoon, you don't really need to change any of these Pokemon too much. It just like, it will make it will make the change uh, what it needs to be, right? Dragapult is broken in coordinated play. Well, if that was true, you'd see it at Worlds. Uh, what's your favorite Pokemon at the moment and why? I can talk about this in a little bit. Thank you so much for the super chat. I'll talk about this on my tier list. My favorite Pokemon at the moment. Hmm. Let me let me look at what's like been my most played this season. What have I enjoyed the most? I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I've been playing a lot. Doesn't necessarily mean my favorite because a lot of times I'm like chasing badges and stuff. I think for me, it's probably Meow right now. Meow is so fun and like super slept on. All right, here we go. So I think all of these could use a buff again, but I think the big thing would be just buffing their like class altogether. Somehow buffing their class altogether because none of them got play at Worlds. They don't see any coordinated play. So yeah, I, I think they could all use a buff. Uh, Riptide Rob, thank you so much. As an advocate for the B tier party, disgusting. I urge every one of you to get out there and vote, make the B tier great again. Oh boy. I told, I said we wouldn't get political, but here we are. Uh, who, where do we want to go next? Let's keep doing, uh, keep going with some of our attackers. Pika, I think is pretty good. I don't think you need to do too much to Pika. I don't think you need to do too much to A9, but I wouldn't hate a world where they gave it a teeny tiny buff, right? Uh, I, I wouldn't mind that. Cram, I don't want him to change Cram, uh, but it's a patch, right? So they might change Cram, to be fair. Uh, but I uh, give Pikachu Volt, Tackle, Direction Choice. Honestly, that would be sick. Uh, Garchomp, I don't think they need to change Garchomp. We were on Attackers, and now I accidentally put, picked up Garchomp. Uh, so we'll go back to Attackers. 
<laughs> now that I accidentally picked up Garchomp. Venusaur, I don't think they need to change much at all. I think Venus doing pretty good. I don't know what you really would mess with it. I mean, you could kind of mess around with Giga Drain, Petal Dance, uh, but it's still a, just a really good build. It's just not competitively. You just don't see it too much. Uh, you still see Beam Venu competitively every once in a while. Let's see. Guardi. Don't mess with Guardi. Guardi's doing great. Uh, strong. I don't know how, how you'd mess with it. Sylveon, interestingly enough, is getting kind of a weird, like an interesting rework, right? Um, so I guess we could put a row below right here. This is exciting. It's the rework tier. Uh, Sylveon is getting a rework. I don't know exactly what that's going to mean for the rest of the roster, but dang, I would love it if the rest of the roster got reworks for sure, right? Um, there are more Pokemon I could put there for sure. Uh, let's see more attackers, baby. Espeon's fine. And Del Fox is a monster. If you did anything, if you nerfed, if you slightly nerfed Del Fox's, uh, fire spin, I don't think anybody would be mad. If I don't think anybody would be mad. Kid Inc. says if Zashian gets buffed, I'm gifting 100 subs. Just do it anyway. <laughs> the ADCs doesn't seem to work well in this game since we can't destroy towers. Yes, that's true. And they don't melt tanks that well. They probably need a tank melting item. That's probably what it is. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Um, where are we at with attackers? Glaceon. I don't think they're going to touch it. They just buffed it. I don't think they're going to buff it again. And you don't want them to. Mew is fine. It's really good, but it takes like a really good player. So I, I for me personally... I don't mind when something's really good, but it takes really good players. I don't mind that. That's that to me. That's pretty reasonable. You're trading. You, you've got to be highly skilled with something to get value out of it. I think that's cool. Let's see. Uh, 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 candle. Candle's good. I don't think they should mess with candle at all. It's it's doing well. Inteleon. I mean, they just buffed it. We're not going to see it much of a change. Inteleon's actually kind of crazy. It, it really is. But uh, I don't think they're going to mess with it too much. I can't imagine after they just buff it that they do anything to it. Um, Inteleon, I think, is a little too powerful. They could fix its bug. But what are you going to do? Uh, attacker, Mewtwo Y could use a slight nerf, honestly. I know people are sleeping on Mewtwo Y, and I'm happy about that. But this thing is actually still crazy good. I don't think it's going to get nerfed, if I have to be honest. I don't think they're going to touch it at all. But uh, I do think they probably could nerf Mewtwo Y. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Maridon probably needs... Maridon's up there for one of the bigger nerfs needed in the game, probably, if it loses its EX license. It's not insane, but... Uh, it is really powerful. Electro Drift's been really powerful for a long time. I'll put it in small nerf category because it's not really like terrorizing the meta or anything. And those are all our attackers except for whoever I missed. And I definitely will miss something because there's just so many Pokemon in this game at some point. But I think I missed something. Aren't you a little afraid that auto att attacker buffs would break them? Well, I mean, you got to be careful with anything you change, right? Uh, but the balance lately in the game has actually been pretty good. We've had good balance. So... I don't know. I'll kind of, I'll let them, I'll let them do something. I'll let them cook a little bit and try to make them a little, uh, a little more relevant. But unfortunately, they're just not super relevant right now. Maybe they need to be faster or something. Like maybe they just need to be harder to pin down. Because the problem is, is all of them can get dove on super hard and they can't really do much to counter it, you know? Like they can auto, but they just, they don't burst enough. Uh, let's see. Let's move on to, well, we got speedsters right here. Gengar is my opinion of like rework city. And they're the mayor. So, yes, you can nerf and buff this Pokemon. And you can get it to a more balanced state. I just think Gengar is kind of a mess. Like, uh, it feels like a really old kit. And I would like them to, kind of the same way Sylveon is getting, like, some love. I would like to see, you, the moves could be similar. But I'd like to see some cool changes for Gengar. I think that would be the way to go. Rather than nerf or buff it. Because... You could definitely buff it a little bit, but I don't know. The problem with its builds, one build is a full-on delete button. And the question is, does it delete or not, right? If it doesn't delete, it's underpowered. Uh, we're talking about Dream Eater or Shadow Ball. If it doesn't delete, it's underpowered and just doesn't really do enough. Uh, and if it does delete, 
then it's overpowered and it can run through the entire team. So it's such a razor's edge. And I just think it's not that exciting of a design. Also, I hate its mobility. So I would love to see like a really good uh, rework for Gengar. I, I, I hope they put some love into that. Absol is doing great. I wouldn't touch it. It's, uh, it's good, but it requires a lot of experience. It requires people to be smart. Talon, I think Talon's the closest speedster on the list so far that could use a little baby buff. I still think they could buff Fly a little bit, but Talon, it's gotten like quality of life buffs over the course of a year, and I think it's actually doing pretty well. Kid Ink in the chat with another super chat. Thank you, buddy. Give Lapras Water Pulse a stun on each wave. <sighs> You monster. <laughs> That's disgusting. Don't nerf Delphox. Also, the buff won't break ADCs. Gary and Meow works better as auto attackers. Yeah. Um, Gary, uh, Gary's insane. Uh, that would be crazy if they buff Lapras to do that. I love Talon, too. I agree with you. Uh, 06, is it 06 Toir? Um, I totally agree. I would love to see... Uh, or, excuse me. I totally agree. I love playing Talon. It's so fun. Uh, next beaster, Zara Aura. I don't know, dude. I bet you could still change its leveling and it'd be okay. It's a weird... Speedsters are all weird. They're all so weird. Because, like, you just slightly tune them one way or another, and they're either garbage or they're fully broken. Uh, I don't think they're going to mess with it, honestly. Let's see. Well, maybe they do something with Wild Charge. But then, like, what are you doing? It's such a hard one. Uh, Dodrio. I think Dodrio is doing great. They probably are going to nerf it because they continuously nerf Dodrio. But I... I I don't even understand why at this point. Uh, Zorark is... It's probably in the small nerf category as well. Like, all the speedsters could be. Zorark is one of the most criminal ones. But the problem with Zorark is no one's any good with it. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> you know? Like, you see pros play it, and they're absolutely insane on it. And there are, like, 12 of them. So, they're not really going to nerf... Uh, Zororororark. What's happening with my hair right now? They're gonna not really gonna nerf Zororororark just because like twelve people are actually good with this Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Uh, Scyther. Scyther's kind of the same. It's in the same boat. Like on with really good players, they're having a lot of success with it. Everyone else, they're having no success with it. It's probably closer into the realm of small buff. Honestly, we'd we'd head into a pretty strong Scyther meta though. I would say. Uh, Leafeon, I wouldn't change. They've nerfed it a couple times. You might even want to buff. Well, it's hard. Solar Blade just feels, like, pretty underwhelming now. But it's, again, it's either it secures the farm or it doesn't. And that, like, puts it in this really awkward space. I'm guessing you just leave it where it is. Uh, or at least that's probably what I'd do. Meow Scarada. I would actually buff Meow Scarada. I think they over-nerfed it. It's not terrible, but I don't, I don't think they should have nerfed it when they did. It's now... Now it's in this position where... And I hate when Pokemon are like this, where it had one half a second of competitive viability. We never even got to see it really get played, and then they nerfed it. Like, why? It's a small buff area for me. Um, are those all our speedsters? Who am I missing? I got to be missing somebody, right? I'm probably missing somebody, but what are you going to do? All right, moving on to, let's do, we got supporters here. Uh, Wiggly, I think, is better than people think. I don't think you need to mess with Wiggly. Actually, I would like, and truly, I do mean this is a small buff. I would like a little more on Wiggly's Unite. Not a lot, but I don't know what would let. Let's uh, let's go over to Unite DB really quick. Uh, Wiggly's Unite. The shielding on Wiggly's Unite gives you what? Because it's not enough. I don't think. You let's say let's say you're level nine, and you throw your shield down. What is it like a thousand or something? Eight hundred seventy-seven. Bump that up to a thousand. Just give me a little more on the Wiggly Shield. That's all I'm asking. Give me a little more on the Wiggly Shield, and I'm 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 not gonna freak out. A teeny tiny buff for Wiggly. I think its Unite move could be a little better, but otherwise, I think it's actually pretty mean. Um, let's see. Uh, Machamp needs a buff. Machamp is just kind of meh. It's meh champ. Um, I, I, I could definitely see a buff here. Uh, somehow I, I bounced back to all rounders because my brain doesn't even work. Uh, mime is fine. Don't mess with it. It's good. It's even great sometimes, but it's not broken. It's like in a really, really great spot. Blissey probably needs a small nerf. I think, I still think it's Unite move is too good. Um, that's probably all I'd change about it. 
It's Unite Move is way, just like way too much of a get out of jail free card. But you really do. It, it's again, it's another one of those like if that Unite Move doesn't save a Pokemon from getting KO'd, Blissey becomes terrible. So that's a that's a tough one. You know, you would say big buff for the submission build. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. Uh, 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 LD, LD could always use a small nerf. It honestly could use a buff to Leaf Tornado, just a just a light buff to Leaf Tornado, and everything else could use a little bit of a nerf, honestly. Um, but I but I kind of like LD. I like that supports are good, you know. Like if I had to pick, I'd nerf it. Otherwise, I'm I'm kind of okay with it. It's really good though. Hmm, Hoopa. Hoopa could probably use a small nerf. Uh, it could probably use a small nerf, but I'm okay, I'm okay with them not messing with Hoopa, you know? Uh, 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 Clefable is fine. It's fine. It got some buffs. It's doing pretty good. I think it's fine. Uh, Hoopa's good. Yeah, Hoopa's quite good. I agree. Uh, maybe longer cooldown. Yeah, you could have a slightly longer cooldown, you know? Uh, 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 Comfey, delete it from the game. It's garbage. Uh, Comfey is just horrible. So Comfey is, as I've as we've talked about many times, Comfey is just uh, stupid. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Uh, I wish this thing was just not in the game. Honestly, like I didn't even make this category for Comfey. I just made it for big nerf. But I, it's just the worst thing to have in the game. It's it's so it's so dumb and it it's like a you if your team's duo is playing like Pikachu and Champ and the enemy duo is like Cerulege Comfe you're like okay great this is gonna be fun uh, Sableye is hard Sableye you can you can get a small buff to Shadow Sneak honestly but Sableye is like the problem with Sableye is it's actually good if you're good. It's just nobody's good with it. So this is like Sableye is a lot like Zoroark where it's like you probably should nerf Zoroark, but nobody's any good with it. And you should probably buff Sableye. But if people start getting good with Sableye, it's just such a nightmare. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That's a that's a hard one there. I, I'm fine with them not touching it, but I'm also fine with them messing with Shadow Sneak a little bit or even Faint. Just a little, you know. Um... Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Those are all our supporters, right? I might have missed somebody. Okay, let's do our defenders here. Slowbro. Slowbro is good. And you could nerf it. And I don't even... I But I never, I never hate where it's at. If they just nerfed like... If they nerfed... Even like a half second off its unite move, I I wouldn't argue with that really, but I don't know. I it's really good, but do we hate slow bro? I don't know. The, I think the thing is as a as an entire class, defenders are insane. Uh, so if you wanted to nerf them all a little bit, I couldn't really argue with you, but I don't know. Uh, it. It's like if it's anywhere, it's small nerf. It's definitely not something you'd buff, and you wouldn't need to rework it because it does its job really well as a defender. So, um, yeah, uh, Husky says nerf all damage on defenders. That's probably accurate. Yeah, uh, I, it's like low. It's like close to small nerf territory. I wouldn't hate it, but at the same time, I also wouldn't hate it if they didn't touch it. Crustal, don't mess with it. It's good. If you're going to do anything, maybe you can mess with Stealth Rock build a little bit or Shell Smash a little bit, but it's good. Mamo, it's good. Just one Worlds. Uh, Blastoise is probably the big, one of the biggest like buff candidates in the game. It's not that it, the buffs have to be massive, but I think nerfing Blastoise across the board a couple patches ago didn't turn out well for this Pokemon at all. It completely fell off... Uh, in competitive play, it completely fell off on ladder. Uh, I just think uh, little buffs across the board, like you could buff multiple things with this, and it'd be okay. So people say no, don't bring Blastoise back. Blastoise back. Don't bring Blastoise back. Okay. Uh, I think, I think unfortunately, if you if a Pokemon's been nerfed and it's completely fallen off, they have to do something. You know. 
So maybe more than even big buff, it's like this is more of like a in big need of a buff, which is probably more accurate. Uh, let's see. Snorlax, you could probably buff. Uh, you don't need to buff it a lot. You could probably buff it a little because people still play Flail. So if they're going to play it, you might as well make it reasonable. Greedon, I don't know what to do with Greedon. It's not bad. It's not really a defender. If you reworked it, I wouldn't even be mad. If you gave it a small buff, I wouldn't even be mad. But it's so weird. It's a hard one, too, because it's so annoying, and it's so hard to quantify how annoying it is. I don't know what to do with Greedon. It's one of the closest ones to a rework for me. Um, but I kind of also love it. What do I do with that? So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you do with this. Honestly, I'm, I'm glad the devs have to handle this and not me. I don't know what you do with it. Um... Yeah. Yes. Robin the Hood says, Greed and Sable, I need their own tier. This is awful when played well. Like, yeah, when played well, these things are so crazy. That's the problem, you know? Um, but you could probably give it a small buff, actually, if you were to do anything. Uh, let's see. Tree. I mean, if I'm being honest, it probably could use a small nerf. But all the defenders could, so I'll think about where to put him. Uh, 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 Lapras. Lapras is probably my number one. It's a, it's up there for me. Lapras is <sighs> Lapras is so crazy that the, what they did to Lapras is so weird. Like I get it that that Lapras was doing too much damage, but you didn't give Lapras anything else to do. You you gave it damage and you gave it sustain. So what do you want it to do? Um and I think that's the problem. Like tell me what you're tell me what you've made Lapras for. So if it wasn't damage, okay, you nerf that. You also nerfed its sustain. It doesn't have good crown control. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> like, do 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 something. Do pick a pick a lane. Pick a lane for Lapras. What's the Lapras lane? Uh, and figure something out with it. Uh, super chat from Wooter Van Cleef. Unpopular opinion, but Umbreon needs a nerf. She is annoying the way you just can't escape. The whole enemy team gangs up on you. Oh, uh, we'll get to Umbreon. We definitely will. Thank you very much. And Greed and Bullet Seed from Kidding. Greed and Bullet Seed speech have a unique reaction where the bush is where it can grow berries. Uh, the devs always over nerf water Pokemon. Interesting. They have nerfed water Pokemon quite a bit, but they're, they're a tough one. Um, let's see. You know, because they're based on, like, having tons of HP in the mainline games. And I think they try to keep that in line. They give them recovery and stuff. Uh, Gudra. Gudra could use a small buff. Um, I don't think it, I don't think you need to buff it a ton. But just giving it a little bit, a little, uh, just a little sprinkle of a buff could make that thing a lot better. Like, a lot, lot better. Uh, am I missing a defender? Ho-Oh could use a small nerf. It's actually weird. I actually would like the Fly Flamethrower build to get maybe a teensy weensy buff and i think you could do s man it's so hard it's so hard to like you have to kind of nerf its unite move you could probably cut one revive off um the thing is some games it does nothing and other games it completely saves the game if you were to not touch it at all i would mind i honestly wouldn't mind too much um, nerf unite and sky attack. I could see that. I could see that. Um, it's a weird one. Hard disagree with Blastoise being in more need of buff than Gudra. Yeah, I just think, I, I think the way Gudra's kit's designed, like you could even put Gudra closer to rework. But I get what you're saying. Honestly, Gudra does need a buff. You know, you're not wrong. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Gonna get copyright claimed. That Star Wars song was so good. All right, let's move on to our all rounders. Uh, I think you could give a small buff to Lucario. This is crazy to say, but with how poorly Lucario did at Worlds. Oh, Umbreon. So sorry, guys. Umbreon. Umbreon is probably the defender most in need of a nerf, in my opinion. I think Umbreon's crazy. I think just about everything about Umbreon's crazy. Uh, so I, if you were to like 
nerf any defender, Umbreon's at the top of my list. I think it's the meanest. Um, it's cr- kind of everything about it's nuts. So if I had to, if I had to do anything with Umbre, like if I if I had to pick a single defender to nerf, it would be Umbreon. A single defender to buff, it would be Lapras. If I had to pick one, um, that's just my thought there. Uh, let's see. Now we're on to our all rounders, right? Okay, let's do it. Uh, Lucario. Lucario's fine, but Lucario actually was, it literally is the only Pokemon that the world championship, world championship team lost with. Like Luca, uh, doesn't do much in the game right now. You can do a lot with it. If you're going up against kind of weaker opponents, or if the match is a little uncoordinated, you get like a strong early start. It's pretty great in lane, but in general, Lucario is just not it anymore. It could probably use some love. Um, Ardino in the chat. Lapras is pretty met right now, but is the most fun Pokemon to play with. It's Unite move is the most fun. It's crazy fun. Uh, it's the most fun I've had in this game, either as it or riding the Unite move Cramorant. I agree that Lapras is super fun, but it's also, I think, pretty underwhelming. Um, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Charizard, good. Char, I don't know. They're not going to touch it. Right? So what do I do? What do I do with Char? Like, they're not going to touch it. It's crazy good. It could probably use a little baby nerf, but they're not going to touch it. They just buffed it. I don't think they're going to mess with it. Um, they're, They probably need to nerf it, but I don't think they're really going to. Because the hard thing is, is like, they didn't, they didn't change anything about its stats. The only thing they changed with Charizard was... Uh, basically how it's Unite Move work. Like, yes, Fire Punch and, and uh, Flare Blitz got some buffs, but all they really did was make its Unite Move not terrible. Uh, so I, I think that's like, <laughs> I don't know. That's a really hard one. It's a huge change. Oh, it's massive. But what I'm saying is it's not like its whole kit was bad. It's just one thing about its kit was crazy bad. Uh, thank you for the super chat, Winter. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about this uh, at the end of the tier list. Thank you very much, buddy. Talking about my experience at Worlds. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about that right at the end here. Let's see. Zarina, don't touch it. Please, God, don't buff this thing. It's it's great. It's just it requires a lot of skill. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Dragonite is a weird one. I could I could see a world where they nerf Dragonite, honestly. Dragonite's a weird one. Um, buff triple axle. Don't touch Serena, please. God, <laughs> please. I'm begging you. Uh, sword could use a small buff. In fact, sword could use a huge buff to iron head. Iron head's a mess. It doesn't work right. It's, it doesn't work for this game. Like 80 things hit multiple times. It's like, does not work right. Uh, if maybe if it buffed two instances of damage, that could be something, but uh, Hyper Beam build needs a buff. That's crazy. No, it doesn't. I don't know what Pokemon. We're, if we're talking about Dragonite, no way. Dragonite's really good. Uh, Iron Head, honestly, yes. Maybe it is rework. Maybe they just need to completely rework Iron Head. Maybe that's more fair because it's like just a mess. Um, it doesn't work right at all. It, it's, it's not set up correctly for this game. At least in its current state. Uh, Azumarill, I like Azumarill. If you did anything, you can give it a small buff to its end game, but I think it's actually pretty good. Uh, I'd kind of like to see it shine more end game though. So I wouldn't mind a small like scaling buff. Like it's about the same throughout most of the game, but then at like level nine or 10, it has increased stats rather than like kind of similar to um, what they did with Gren almost. Like if you cut down its Unite a little bit and then up its attack stats and stuff late game, I think that would be pretty decent, honestly. Uh, Buzzwool, in my opinion, is in need of a big time buff. It's a, it needs a buff. Uh, I think you can maybe keep superpower where it's at and do some things with the rest of its kit and leech life definitely needs some love. It's just a mess. So it, when a Pokemon goes from the top of the heap to the bottom, that means like the balance wasn't right. It should go from the top of the heat to kind of heap to sort of middle of the pack, you know? And I think that's uh, I think that's kind of what we need to do here. Let's see. Don't touch Blaziken. Oh boy, Titar. I don't think they should mess with Titar. They buffed it. It was a little too much. They nerfed it. It's pro- maybe a little light, but I think that's fair. Uh, Scissor is a hard one. You could give a small buff. I'm just gonna set it right here next to Scyther for fun. Um, you could give it a small 
buff. You could give both of them a small buff. Um, but I don't hate it where it's at, honestly. Like, they did an okay buff a little a little while back. I don't hate it. But I think you give it a small buff. Um, the bears are all interesting. I don't know what you do with the bears. I think, I think if you leave Urshifu where it's at right now, this might be the most balanced we'll ever get Urshifu, honestly. You know? I think if... Uh, I think they're great, but I also think they they have they have not found the balancing act with Water Bear at all. It's either it's too good or it's not good enough. And right now it's just a bit too good. And I think that's about like as close as we're gonna get with these Pokemon. Like I think that's as close as we're gonna get, honestly. Uh let's see. Zashi needs a nerf. Zacian doesn't get played much, but Zacian, like all the EX Pokemon could probably use nerfs. They're all really good. They just don't get a lot of play, uh, you know, especially because uh, they're like cringe. That's part of it is they're super cringe. And I think we've been conditioned to like not think of them in the roster. I think all of them could use a slight toning down uh, before the EX thing is removed. Will it happen? I kind of doubt it, honestly. Uh, 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 Mewtwo X is the same thing. You could nerf this thing a little bit. You could. It doesn't need a lot, but you could nerf it a little bit. Um, Blaziken is crazy overpowered. Blaziken's crazy overpowered. Uh, it's probably the best Pokemon in the game. It's, it's, honestly, it's too good. Uh, it's like the thing you, one of the things you probably need to nerf the most. It's, it's a tough one too. Uh, I like high skilled Pokemon doing well. It's just a little too good. Like, yeah, overheat's a little too powerful. Um, if you want to like just tone it a little bit, you know, I, I think that'd be fair. Yeah, shouldn't automatically secure everything. It's just crazy good. It does it does everything really well, and that's a bit of a problem. Mimikyu could use a small nerf and a small and a small buff. So uh, you go either way with this buff Trick Room nerf other parts of its kit, right? Um, this one is kind of like, you could do both with it here. I think Trick Room is just, it's just bad. Uh, it's just been bad for too long. Maybe a rework on Trick Room, honestly, would be like fun. Thanks for com becoming a member, uh, Winter. Appreciate you, buddy. Um, yeah, I think you could, if anything, I'll put it in rework tier because uh, you could fully rework uh Trick Room, and that would be interesting. Rework everything people are saying. Maybe. Uh, Kid Ink saying, I disagree with the Super Chat. Zacian is like Zorark, takes skills, don't nerf Zacian. I agree with you that it's actually not a super low skill Pokemon, and I like that it, where it's at compared to where it was. I do think it's a little overpowered at times, but if they didn't touch it, I wouldn't freak out. Metagross, I think it's actually pretty strong, but I'm kind of happy with where it's at. I don't really think they need to do much to it. I'm happy with Metagross. It's Unite is like good at times and bad at times. So I'm I'm totally fine with uh with Metagross being it, like hanging out in the don't touch it tier. Um Gary needs a nerf. Well, here's the thing. So I, honestly, Gary goes into the rework. Gary's like a lot of things. This is like rework slash hold on. Slash a lot of things. Uh, Gary needs probably a nerf. Yeah, Gary's low-key EX. Uh, Gary probably needs a nerf to its, uh, Dragon Breath build. Maybe bounce, um, but Dragon Breath for sure. I think Dragon Breath's too good, uh, too good. But Aqua Tail kind of needs, like, a full rework. Like, you need to, you need to really mess with Aqua Tail. You need to make it so you can't get canceled out of it. Make it so you can move while you're using it, like... You need to rework Aqua Tail completely. Uh, and then if you slightly mess with some of the other parts of its kit, uh, yeah, second Aqua Tail, just like fully do something with this thing. You know, it's a mess. Uh, yeah, Waterfall is fine, but Bounce is so good. Yeah, it's because of the Unstoppable. Why are people so bad with Aqua Tail? Well, it's a lot worse. Even if people are bad with it, and they are, it's a lot worse. You could just you can get stunned out of it. You have to you have to set it up. It's really telegraphed. Like it's not the worst thing in the world, but yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a mess in my opinion. So I I don't mind putting that in the reworked here. Phalanx is big buff territory. Here's what I think. 
I think the nerfs to Phalanx were totally fair. But we didn't do anything on the other end of Phalanx to stop it from being from dropping all the way to the bottom of the tier list. And that's what I think is unfortunate. When like when a Pokemon like Buzzwool, all honestly, all four in the top uh in the top our top slots right here, they were all nerfed, justifiably nerfed because they were kind of outperforming the roster. But they didn't do anything on the other side to sort of cushion the fall. And instead, what's happened is you've taken a really cool Pokemon and you've just like thrown it away, basically. So uh, I think if you if you want to nerf what what was going on with Phalanx and No Retreat Ironhead, cool, makes total sense. Uh, however, do some things on the other end that makes this Pokemon not terrible. So do something with Mega Horn, right? Uh, especially Mega Horn beat up. Do something with its Unite move. It's been an underwhelming Unite move since release. Like, imagine, okay, you change No Retreat Iron Head, but now its Unite move is a little bit better. So you take away, like, the most overpowered part of its kit, but you're buffing something that's pretty underpowered. That's what I think they should try to do when they're finding balance for some of these Pokemon. Let's split the difference a little bit. Uh, and Cerulege. Yeah, I hate to say it, but I, I don't know. I mean, there's not a reality where this thing shouldn't get a nerf. It should definitely get a nerf. It probably didn't need all the buffs it got. I don't want him to gut it. I, I don't really, even though the category is called delete it, we're just having fun. Um, but I don't want them to gut this Pokemon, but it is overpowered. It's definitely overpowered. Um, I, I You can do a little bit. You can do a little snip step, just a little here or there. And I think it would be okay. All the Pokemon and delete this from the game, except for Comfey, which I actually just think. Honestly, if I if I turned on my game tomorrow and Comfey was gone, I don't I wouldn't be mad at all. I even bought Hollower for it. If they go like, you're not getting a refund. <laughs> you're not getting a refund. It's gone. Uh, all the games you played with it, those are all now negative win rate games. Like that I wouldn't mind. Uh however, uh, I would be, I, the others I think could all get like small buffs and changes. So there you go. That's my opinion on the meta right now. I think most things are balanced and I actually think a lot of things in the small buff and small nerf category would be okay if we didn't get changes. Uh, if you want to take a picture of this or a snapshot in your mind, you could do that now because what I'm going to do is eliminate the B tier. Sort of. It's still going to be there. We're still going to have the beads here. But I'm going to remove every Pokemon from our balance tier. And this is just like a fun little thought experiment. If I had to nerf or buff every Pokemon on the roster, I'm going to decide what I would do. So take a big sip of coffee. And let's get down to business. All right. Um, oh, super chat before we jump into it. Lugia to Unite. Couldn't agree more. They should have done Ho-Oh and Lugia. Make his Unite move reset his team's Unite timer. Disgusting on a selected ally. Buff Sashin's Unite move to one-shot any living Pokemon. You're insane kidding. I appreciate the super chats, and you're also an absolute maniac. Uh, all right. So, um, if I had to move everything from the B tier, I'm either moving it to get buffed or nerfed. That's what we're going to do. For Pikachu, it would be a buff. I think it would probably be... The Volt Tackle buff that was called out earlier. Who was that? Pimsky? I'm not sure who called that out early, earlier. Um, but the Volt Tackle buff, I think, is very fair. Just a quality of life change for Pikachu. Oh, it was not you. It was Robin. Sorry, Robin. Pimsky, get out of here. You're banned for a month. Uh, I think Pika, if it got a little change there, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't hate it. Uh, Cram. Buff. I would buff Cram's Surf build. I don't know what I would do to it. I might just make Cram more mobile. Like, I might make Cram where it's like surf casts faster so you can just move in and out. I think that would be very fun. Uh, yeah. Uh, Venu, I would probably buff. It would it would be small. I might give it just more, some more survivability, honestly. So, you think give surf more range, less pull. Ooh. I know. Timmy hates my Cram takes. Yeah, they're, they're going to hate it forever. Gardevoir, I would... Oh, this one's tough. I think Guardy's actually pretty good. I would probably buff Guardy. But what would I change? Hmm. This, is a this is a close one. Because it's it's really good right now. Um, huh. Wait, you want to buff Scyther? Probably. Yeah, slight. I think you could. 
let psychic reset on wild Pokemon. Yeah, maybe some cooldown. You know what? Actually, I would love future sight to actually not be so horrible farming. I think I'd put it into the buff category if I had to. Uh, Espeon, I would nerf Espeon if I had to. Uh, I think it's... Oh, you know what? That's not true. I would rework it if that counts. I would rework future sight. I just don't think future sight's very good. Um, it's a hard one to balance, but I would rework future sight. Uh, let's see. Glaceon, I would... Honestly, if it was up to me, I'd nerf it. Um, but I'd... Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! Don't do it, but I, I probably would. If I had to pick one, I probably would. I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, Mew, I would nerf. If I had to do anything, I don't, I, I, w I don't want it to get nerfed, but if I had to, it's, it's nerf, you know, uh, let's see candle. I would candles really candles right there with guard for me. What would I change? Maybe I'll buff poltergeist a little bit, make it a little more fun. Make it do something else. You know, I, I really like poltergeist, but the other move like locking out opponents moves is kind of broken. So I'd probably, I'd probably buff poltergeist a little bit. Inteleon, I would definitely nerf. If I had a choice to buffer nerf, Inteleon would absolutely get a nerf. It's kind of close for me already. You know, add extra furniture. There you go. Uh, Absol. I'd probably buff Night Slash. It'd be it'd be slight, but I'd probably buff Night Slash if I had to do anything with Absol. Uh, teeny tiny buff there. Talon, I would buff. I'd buff Fly. Um, I'd probably just like knock off a second of its cooldown. If anything, you know, Zara Aura, I'd buff. I might even change its leveling again because it's six, eight for moves, right? Am I crazy? Is there a six, eight or is it six, seven? Oh, it's six, seven. No, it's five, seven now, right? Maybe I wouldn't change it. It was six, eight. Now it's five, seven. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I don't know what you do with this little guy. He's a weird one. Maybe I'll, I don't know, but I wouldn't nerf it. Where is this page? That's UniteDB, UniteDB.com. I'd probably buff it, honestly, if I had to do anything with it. Dodrio, I'd probably buff Agility, but that's just me being selfish. I think, uh, I think I'd probably buff Agility, but honestly, if they nerfed it, I'd get it. I hate my life. Zoroark, I would definitely nerf. Um, just because people are bad with it doesn't mean that... Uh, that it shouldn't get nerfed because it kind of should. Leafeon, I'd nerf. Leafeon, I'd definitely nerf. Uh, another one that's just like crazy good players are crazy good. Mime, I would nerf if I had to. Don't want to, but if I had to, I think Mime is like a little on the powerful side, right? Uh, LD, I'd nerf for sure. Um, Hoopa, I'd nerf. Clefable, I might, out of all of them, I might buff Clefable. God, I'd hate that. But I, I might buff... You could buff Tornado. I could see that, too. Yeah, I could see that, too. Um, Sableye, I'd buff. I hate saying it. Slowbro, I'd nerf. Crustle, I'd nerf. Mamo. I mean, it won Worlds. I, I mean, I I guess it's nerf, but I hate the idea of nerfing Mamo. Tree, Tree, honestly, could get nerfed right now, and I wouldn't freak out. Garchomp, I'd give a small buff to the Earthquake Dig build, but Earthquake Dig's actually not doing too bad. I think the Charging Charm slash Rapid Fire Scarf changes actually really helped Garchomp out. Uh, but, like anything, it was better with the Dragon Claw build. Um, Zarina, I would nerf. Not gonna lie. I'm not buffing this thing. You can't make me. There's nothing you could do. It's my tier list. Dragonite, I'd also nerf. Um, Titar. I'd probably buff Ancient Power. If I had to do anything, I'd probably buff Ancient Power. You'd buff Serena? That's because you're a maniac. Some people need to be locked up. Uh, <laughs> both bears, I'd nerf. I'd nerf both bears. And I'd honestly, I'd nerf Metagross. Okay. So there you go. If I had to, this is if I had to, not if I want to. It's not about what I want sometimes. It's about what I have to do, okay? I have a responsibility. Um, if I had to, can I make this smaller so everybody can see it? I can, I, I can kind of get it. 
you can kind of see them all. So there you go. Um, if I had to change every Pokemon in the game and nothing was balanced, that's what it would be. But again, as we saw earlier with my tier list, there is a lot in the game and honestly a lot in the small buff, small nerf category that I wouldn't mind if they didn't touch. Um, but there's, there's a decent amount that I think they could, they could balance in this game in some really fun ways. The tops and bottoms of my tier list are things that I'd really like to see them balanced and everything else are like, kind of like take it or leave it. We could probably get some more Pokemon in the rework tier. There are some, I think there are some really cool reworks we could see in this game. But there you go, everybody. We've got a balance patch coming. You are all here live. That is a nerf and buff tier list. If you were here live, go ahead and, you know, leave a comment saying that you were here. I would appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I love you so much. I will see you all next time. Just got a Rolex ad. You're rich. Mm -hmm.